Okay, so it's manure sold and I've sold some crops as well. So we've just hit the £400,000 mark. I've just had some breakfast. I was on the phone to the shop and the biggest trailer they've got carries 36 pigs. It's five grand to lease it a minute uh, to start with and then they charge per hour after that. Plus the fuel, it's a long way across town to get to the animal dealer. So I phoned them up and their delivery charge is minimal. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in here and we're going to pick which pigs. Let's close that up. Why won't you close? Come on. Right. Hello, little piggy piggy. Let's go here. Right. So I'm thinking if I get rid of the old stock now because they're worth more money and then the new stock because our original 50 will probably go. Let's go down here. So we shall see their new stock and they're not very fat so they're not going to give us that much money but they will in turn become profitable because they will start come the season now they'll start saying anything mm, let's have a look right we can't sell him I'm going to sell any males as well thinking about it so I need to tag them right okay yeah. so we've got they're all females <clears throat> so let's go up I keep old spot right so So we'll sell all of them. Tidy money. These are our original fifty by the looks of the numbers of their tags. Right, and then now we're down into the, the small stock. So, any males? There's a Yorkshire male there. Dee, 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 dee. There's a male there. There. Male there. There's one. Hmm. I thought we'd be making a lot more money than this, but at the end of the day, we only sell the truck for 50 pigs and food. So, technically, another spotted male. This is all free gain. Apart from all the money we've put into the food and straw and equipment and barn. Meh. Yeah. Oh, we need a couple of males in because they will help us fertilise and reproduce. 
Oh well, yeah, 30. Oh, 30. Oh well. It is what it is, I suppose. He can be fattened up a bit more. So can he. By the looks of it. Oh. We'll go for that. So we have. Forty-three thousand pounds worth of pigs sold. Six grand in transport fees. So with the fuel and the loan, yeah, I'm definitely better off doing it this way. So we will confirm. Sold. How many pigs have we got left? We only sold seventy-seven pigs. So that's not bad. That is not bad at all. So that's giving us a little bit more money. Let's give them some food then. What I might do is fill the bucket up from the pallet. Where is the pallet? There it is. And then that way the pallet's not constantly feeding it. There we go. So we are at 437,000. So I need to speak to. There we go. Put this in there. I think I need to speak to the bank to see how much we can loan. to buy a farm how are we doing on food now is that caught up yet yeah. Let's see if, we, if we sell any more we need to sell them today otherwise we've got to keep them all year pigs out again so the straw that I put down was enough to last them Put it down there for the minute. I'll park that there. There we go. Right, so at four hundred and thirty seven thousand we have wood chips to sell, but what's the price on the wood chips? Still coming up, I think. <laughs> Tomorrow supposedly is the better price. Thirty three hundred fifty thousand two four six. So still rising. So I'm not going to sell yet. When that plateaus, will sell. I think. My corn should really keep for the pigs potentially. I've got nothing or anything else, okay. So what I might do is I pop along to the estate agents and find out what the land we are sat on is worth and potentially see if these buildings are worth any extra money. Obviously the piggery is going to be worth money. Possibly we'll look at mortgaging against those to buy some land and then sell this and the land off to repay. Yes. Yes. Right. 
Pack you in a bit now. Well, just down at the marina because they gave me a call and they needed some fuel, so we are filling that up. Shark infested waters. So, been to see the bank manager, find out what the dealio is. Had a word with the estate agents. We've had a look around the two properties that we can potentially buy. So we're just having a little mull over. There we go. They're happy. Just having a little mull as to what we is going to be best, to be honest. Not an easy decision to make by any means. Um, actually, while we're down here and out of the way. Let's pull that up and see what our wood chips are doing. <clears throat> They've plateaued 248. Now my economy says that they'll go up tomorrow still. 241. Do I risk them going up tomorrow? Let's risk selling today and then going up tomorrow. Or do I risk waiting until tomorrow to see if they actually go up and I can get more for my buck? We're sitting just under the £500,000 mark now, which is perfect. I'm going to have to borrow about a hundred grand potentially to get set up in whichever new place we go to, which then when I sell the old place will combat the money and we can pay the mortgage off and then still be left with some money so decisions decisions we've done a, another fertilizer contract today but not much else seems to be coming up at the minute so when they marina gave me a bell I was free Yes, it's one of those things. She's a bit slippy still, see? Council really need to get out here and sort this out. Right, if anything else comes up between now and this afternoon, I should be back to you. Otherwise, if not, we'll potentially see you in the morning. Good morning, welcome back. We are day four, midwinter. The snow has cleared. Temperatures rose a little bit last night, so it has cleared. We are still mulling over. Been talking to the boys, trying to figure out what they want to do, where they think it's going to be best. We're going to have to borrow a little bit of money first. I was going to sell all our wood chips, 350,000 litres of wood chips, but morning looking at the pricing it's tanked it is dropping so quick so we may hang on to them as I really don't want to sell it a lot not at a loss but I want to get best buck for bang bang for buck so after speaking to the uh, bank obviously we can borrow some money against the land we own already talking to the boys moving the pigs we are going to need to move the pigs so I'm gonna head up the shop and spend a little bit of money and buy uh, animal transport so we can move the pigs as and when we decide I may as well do it now it's done and out of the way there's no contract so far this morning so we shall see now so I'm gonna be up the shop and I'll see you in a bit so here we are, we have bought the lizard trailer, which will hold, I can't remember how much it will hold now, 30, no, 26 pigs is it I think, let's have a gander, uh, oh 18 pigs, 18 pigs at a time, 
when we start moving so I mean it's not a huge amount but I didn't really want to use the lorry because the lorry is going to be pulling everything else um, so yeah so we've gone for this this is T LT20 triaxle just over seven grand with the extras we put on nice bit of kit um, let's open her up double layered nice bit of kit so we'll take this back to the yard Press the wrong button then. Right. We'll take this back to the yard and then we'll see how we're doing. I've pulled the back up there, haven't I? Yeah. We'll see what's next. So, we've picked up a contract for fertilizing field 25. So, we're gonna, I'm going to spin over there now and do that. Still trying to figure out what we're going to do. In the meantime I've emptied the silo, we sold the corn over at Pumpton Farm and <coughs> excuse me I've put the silo and the buildings up for sale we are going to go ahead with one of these I am going to the bank later to sort the funds out sort the mortgage out, sign the paperwork for the, about 150 grand, I think it is. I feel 25 is over there. Just to cover our loss, uh, to, to cover ourselves as a bridging loan until everything else is sold. Oh, I feel 25. It's right outside the house, you muppet. Right, okay. My bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay. I'm going back to where I was. Not paying attention, see? too many things on my mind so I'm going to crack on with uh, fertilizing field 25 like I say everything else is now listed all the buildings and we are gonna it's gonna happen it is happening all right I might as well just come here and start from here and I all right that should be enough coverage Look at that, perfect. Okay. So this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm at. A little update. We will uh, crack on, get this done, see if anything else comes up. Tidy the place up a bit. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. So... I popped down sawmill and had a chat to find out what was going on because these prices are ridiculously low and they've told me they're only going to get lower so I've made the decision that I'm going to have to raise that up push that out I'm just going to have to sell Start the engine, turn the belt on. So we are going to empty this silo. Why is it doing this? So I am going to get this silo emptied. Why? I don't understand why. This may take a while if this is going to be like this. I'll figure out what's going on. I'll speak to you in a bit. I'll see you when I'm done at doing the first load of wood chips and see how it comes out at. 
Okay. Finally up at this. It's so dark you can't see what's going on at all. I'm sorry about that. But we're just going to unload this now. We're going to unload this into here. And see how much we get per load. 13,000. Hardly seems worth it. But that's that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get rid of all of this. So I'm going to end the video there. We shall see you tomorrow. Day 5 of winter with a decision. Potentially moving day. I hope you've liked what you've been seeing, what you've been watching. If you do, please don't forget to hit the like button. I'm what I'm seeing this over and over again in a minute. People are watching the videos and they're not liking the button, hitting the like button. That really means a lot. Comment as well, please. It's fantastic when you comment. It gives me ideas. It gives me it means that I'm doing right. You know, shows that I'm giving you content you actually want to watch. So. Keep it up, guys, please. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.